right now. Cleaning up after powerful wind gusts shook local neighborhoods. We're in the community where downed trees are a serious problem. Connecting with locals and sharing their stories. Plus, an important warning for anyone who vapes why store shelves are flooded with illegal products from China and what makes them so dangerous to use. The severe storms are behind us now. We're starting to see the sun again. I'll tell you what you can expect tomorrow and Mother's Day, too. From tracking weather to important breaking news, News 4 Jacks at 5 is live right now. Live from the local station, News 4 Jacks starts now. And starting with a live look from our downtown sky cam right now. Turned into quite a nice afternoon. A beautiful day, but something you may not have expected just a few hours ago. Just take a look. A News for Jax viewer sharing this video with us on Snapjax today. Just you can see how strong those winds are blowing. And this morning storms leaving sites like this in their wake. News for Jax has gotten several reports of downed trees and power outages throughout our area. As far as we know, there are no reports of injuries connected with this storm. But obviously there's plenty of damage out there. This Columbia County home split in half. Again, no one was hurt here. This is in the area of Country Club Road. And take a look at this photo a viewer sent us out of Nassau County. You can see this tree damaged a barn and a trailer. This is in Bryceville. And then here in Duval County, we're seeing the storm's impacts as well. This photo posted to Snapjacks, it shows a down power line on Garden Street. This is in the Dinsmore area. Not too late to send in your photos, by the way. Head to newsforjacks.com slash snapjacks and then share them with us uh, under the weather tab. And the Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Richard Nunn is keeping an eye on the forecast for us as we head into the weekend. But let's start tonight with reporter Khalil Maycock, who is out surveying the damage today. Khalil, you're in the Woodstock area right now. Yeah, Tiffany, and this is where you can see that a tree fell on top of a home. And I want to show you what it looks like right now. So from this side, you can see that there is the tree that was taken out of the ground. And if we head over this way, you'll see that it fell on the roof and that's where it damaged some of it. Now, I didn't speak to the owner of this house on camera, but they did tell me this was devastating. <laughs> so the canopy went from here and then across the roof. went across the roof and landed over there. Oh, in the Ronald Smart Sr. says this morning's strong winds carried his canopy he had for one week from one side of the house to over here. And then, fact, I just paid the guy across the street to put it together last week. I knew I shouldn't have put it together. Smart Sr. says he's glad nothing severe happened to his home, but other homes in the area weren't as lucky. If we head over to Cherokee Street, you'll see downed power lines. And if you follow the downed power lines across the street, it runs into a tree that's ripped out of the ground and fallen on a home. It's a similar scene I saw on Brookhaven Drive, except this tree that was toppled over was bigger. The owner didn't want to speak on camera, but the neighbor who lives next door was telling me a lot of first responders showed up right after this happened because there was someone inside of the house. And we're back out here live and you can get a better look of that damage from across the street. Now, that neighbor who spoke to me tells me that the person who was inside of that house is fine. Reporting live, Khalil Maycock, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Khalil. And while our area saw plenty of damage from this morning's storms, it was worse in other parts of Florida like Tallahassee that you're seeing here. One person is dead after a tree fell on a home there this morning. It's been confirmed at least one tornado did touch down in the area. More than 65,000 people are left without power in Tallahassee at this point. And take a look at this video of a car dealership that was damaged there. Schools throughout Leon County, they were closed today because of the storm and it's expected that the process of getting power back on for thousands that will last throughout this weekend. 